make them bounce. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another Geodude episode. So, I want to show you guys the deck list for my Marsh Shadow for expanded format. Now, this deck is tweaked to be very consistent, always get what you need, and even Night March and Mega Ray don't stand a chance. So, I'll start off by showing you the deck list. I have Shaman EX for setup little draw support draw the card so you have six cards in hand sky return only two energies my dce can do it does 30 bring it back in case it's very damaged and i've already used the next card i'm going to talk about if i have tauros gx in my grave i can use rage to deal more damage horn attack for 60 or mad bull gx to knock it out then next turn they bring out something that's not set up sky return bring it back bring out my next marsh shadow that's already set up i have sableye for junk hunt put two items any two items i need at the time being could be a special charge could be a rescue stretcher could be a battle compressor could be an ultra ball versus seeker whatever i need i can add any two back to my hand got mar shadow gx with shadow hunt the this card is an amazing card because i can not only use beat down but i can use the attack of any pokemon in my discard pile which with this deck, I can use pretty much every attack and every Pokemon, except one that I really don't use very much, and that's Hoopa EX. I don't really use his attack. I just mainly use him for support. His Poke power is very good. But let me continue on with the list. So I got Sudowoodo for watch and learn. Mimic any one of your opponent's attacks. For example, if you're playing Greninja and they Shadow Stitch, you can Shadow Stitch back. Keep them from using Giant Water Shuriken. Very good. Jolteon, Flash Ray for any basic deck that I'm playing against in Expanded. This is a very good tech card. Jirachi for Stardust. Gotta love it. Espeon EX for Miraculous Shine. Devolve your opponent's Pokemon. It's good against Greninja. It's good against Vespa Queen. It's good against... Well, I guess this is why isn't really a mainstream deck now since giant forest got banned but it's still a really good card with a lot of evolution decks got hoopa x with scoundrel ring brings any three x's to my hand very good card oricorio i love this card if you're playing against night march supernatural dance for one energy for each pokemon in your opponent's discard pile you can place energies down per pokemon so let's say they get all their night marches and they have two pokemon set up you can literally knock out those two pokemon with this one attack this is a very powerful card against night march i have a tapu lele for wonder tag energy drive and tapu cure gx this is another one of the gx attacks i can use essentially if i'm stuck in a situ sticky situation <laughs> uh glaceon ex crystal ray very good attack for evolution decks also, second bite can help get that knockout. Seismitoad EX, the item lock card. Quaking Punch, 30 damage and your opponent's not able to play any item cards. Now, a lot of decks nowadays, especially in Expanded and Standard, have a lot of items. That's why Garbodor Trash Lanch was such a powerful deck because, I mean, doing 20 damage for every item in the discard pile but if you have a quaking punch and your opponent can't play items kind of prevents them from setting up really good tech card of course four acro bikes to help thin out and mill my deck i have battle compressor helps discard the cards i need for mar shadow to be able to start attacking have a large variety of attacks that i can use depending on the situation I have one Rescue Stretcher to get back either Shaman EX, another Mars Shadow, Tapu Lele, whatever I need at the time being, Rescue Stretcher is there to help. I got one Special Charge to help bring back two of any of my 12 energies. Four Trainer Mails, just another Speedster to help thin out my deck. Four Ultra Balls to help me search out whatever Pokemon I want by discarding two. 
for Versus Seekers, the must-missed card in standard format. But in Expanded, you are still here and strong. So with Sableye, this is a great card to get back in case I need a certain supporter that I don't want to waste that supporter. Grabbing it, I can get it back with Sableye's Junk Hunt. Parallel City, the best stadium card out. This prevents Rayquaza from going off, the old Mega Gardevoir from going off. This card helps in very many situations to lock up your opponent from setting up and having a large bench. I have one Guzma, self-explanatory, switch out your bench in case you have a Marshadow on the bench that's set up already and you have something in the active slot that you don't want like a Hoopa EX, you can Guzma out, bring out something to knock it out and lock up your opponent. I have one Karina due to the fact that it can search out my Marshadow and any item that I need at the time being. It can be a battle compressor, it can be a special charge, it can be an ultra ball, it can be a versus seeker. This card's very good, especially in expanded format. Got one Lysander to swap out my opponent's bench to help set up that lock. Another very good card. I have three ends. Every player shuffles their hand into their deck and draws the same amount of cards as prizes that you have left. I have one Pokemon fan club to help me get out. If I get this first turn, I can pull out a Marshadow GX and a Hoopa EX and start discarding my hand. And from there, Pokemon Fan Club gets me that setup. I have three Junipers. Discard your hand, draw seven. Helps discard the Pokemon that I don't need that I want in the graveyard to attack. And then my special energies. I have four blend energies. I used to run this deck with only four rainbows and four double colorless energies, but blend energy is such a good card. It's just like another rainbow energy in this deck. I will show you. So it can use electric attacks. Jolteon, I can flash ray with you on Marshadow. I can use water attacks. I can use Glaceon's Crystal Ray with the water. I can use Seismitoad. Although Seismitoad doesn't really need it since he's only got a DCE. But I can use Jolteon, Glaceon, Jirachi's attack, Stardust if I wanted to, or I can use Dream Dance. I really won't be using that very often. But if I did have another metal Pokemon in here, I can use that. Like Magurnia, for example. Really good card. I just couldn't find a slot for it in this deck. But I can also use any... I can change it to a Fighting Energy and use it for Sudowoodo or just Marshadow's Basics attack. Or it can just be a basic Colorless Energy, which Shaman, Tauros, Espeon, Ricorio, Sableye... All these Pokemon have one colorless energy, so that's also beneficial. So this is the deck breakdown. Um, I will be showing you guys next video how this deck plays out. Uh, if you like my video, <laughs> make sure you drop a like and subscribe for more videos on standard and expanded format decks and deck profiles and matches. See you next time. Geodude out.